What's going on everyone? My name is Mike. If this is your first time, welcome to my channel, Seeking Sushi. And for those returning, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Gorillas food delivery app. So the app is basically a food delivery app, which aims to be the fastest food delivery service out there in Germany. And their promise is to deliver your groceries within 10 minutes of ordering. This app has been all the rave recently. I've been stoked to try this and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about how it works. I'm gonna be experiencing it for the first time with you guys. They're currently live in about eight cities in Germany, six cities in the Netherlands, and they're also live in Paris and London. And they aim to expand in New York even. What's crazy about this app is that they've already acquired about 245 million euros in funding in just a matter of months. In addition to the 245 million euros in funding, that places them at an evaluation of about 1 billion, depending on the sources, which is absolutely insane, especially at this speed. Speed is definitely the name of their game, and I can't wait to give it a try. I did a little bit of research, that's where I got my figures from, and they have a competitor called Flink, which is also based in Germany, and they started around the beginning of this year. From what I read, they specialize in a lot of bio or organic products and they have a wider selection apps like these i think are definitely made for corona people are are just getting impatient they want things quick and they just want to minimize contact an app that delivers your your, your groceries within 10 minutes is just perfect for a time like this and i think even beyond corona they'll they'll do pretty well so i'm really looking forward to see how this app succeeds as well as the other competitors and above all, I'm curious to see how the rest of the food and grocery market develops in the upcoming years. So without a further of ado, I'm going to go to my phone and give this app a try. So when you open the screen, the main screen, you see on top your location. So let me just make sure that's correct. Yep, I got my address correct. And then you have the opening hours. So it looks like they are open from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. every day except Sunday. So here in Germany, all the grocery stores are closed on Sunday, which gives people some time to kind of relax. So here I see that they've sorted out all the different products based on yeah the, cate the, the respective categories. And I was, so this is not my first time on the app. And I was curious to see what Gorilla's fave was. Maybe it's their favorite products, who knows? When you click it, it's literally just bananas. <laughs> good, yeah, good one. So I definitely have some sense of humor here, but I'm particularly interested in some products that I typically get. I'm looking for deals. I don't think I'll get the best price, but if it's gonna be delivered within 10 minutes, I'm pretty stoked about that and I'm willing to pay the premium. So I'm gonna check out this new category to see what they have to offer. Okay, it looks like they got some com cosmetics, some nice fruits and vegetables. I'm probably gonna snag a few sweet potatoes. Some good breads too. Germany offers some pretty good breads, so I might snag some. Although my girlfriend just got me some bread, so maybe not. A lot of milk products, cheese. We love cheese here, but we've got tons. Yeah, it looks like they've got a decent assortment. I'm going to check out the fruits and veggies. Again, these are typical prices that you would see in any grocery store. Not the cheapest versions, but they're pretty fair, I have to say. So I'm gonna go ahead and add, mm, I think I'm happy with the fruits I have at home already. Fruits and veggies, <clears throat> the veggies look good. Again, I'm also happy with the veggies. I am probably gonna snag the sweet potatoes, not the not the bio version or the organic version, but maybe just grab a couple of these. I think this is a pretty good price for what it is. I think actually I'm gonna grab some lemons because you can always use some lemons. We'll go with that. What else here? Ooh, spinach. I have spinach. I did a run recently, so I'm not gonna get too many things today. Oh, I'm gonna go for some some herbs. It's a pretty good price here as well. I can find them for about a euro, but this is also not that bad. Some coriander, basilicum. Oh, what is that in English? I forget. Sometimes when I'm reading uh, German ingredients, I sometimes forget the English versions. Basil, that's it. Okay, Zeberger is a, I would say a premium mixed nut brand. So I'm probably not gonna go for those. Okay, some breakfast. Eggs, I'm gonna snag some eggs to see. I'll, this is one of the, the, the tests that I would like to see if they will break the eggs on the way here. So I'm gonna order some free range eggs. I tend not to buy non free range because I don't like the chickens being stuck in cages. I'll stick with free range. Got peanut butter already. I have jam, 
stocked up. The strawberries were on sale at, at Reva for a euro for 500 grams. So we stocked up on that and made some jam out of it. Bread, I'm good. Fruits and veggies, I'm good. Dairy, pretty decent prices for dairy, I have to say. But I'm pretty happy with what we have. We typically like to stick with quok, which is kind of like a thicker version of Greek yogurt. And I'm going to give one of these high protein puddings a try. It's a bit expensive, I have to say, but I am treating myself because I'm getting it quick. Cookie Bros, I heard is a good product, but I'm not gonna try it today. Yeah, happy with that. Meats, I'm trying to avoid meats. Well, I typically don't really buy meats. And also since watching Seaspiracy, I'm trying to avoid fish as well. Drinks, got a lot of Coke. Fritz Cola, I believe they were founded in Hamburg, maybe Berlin, but it's a pretty big brand here. Yeah, pretty happy with that. And alcohol, sweets, I'm good. Oh, they even have some frozen pizzas. It's also nice. Oh, okay. So they got, they have a, a vegan selection. Again, at the same price. I will, oh, oh yeah. That's what I was looking for, okay. Soya flakes or soya schnitzel is what they call it here. It's really good. I highly recommend soya flakes or soya schnitzels because it's pretty cheap and they're really packed with protein. And once the water soaks it up, it, it kind of has that meaty texture. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. One thing that I found earlier, I'm gonna check if it's available right now. Uh, where was it? Oh, there it is. Yes, I found it. So if you go to the noodle and rice category, if you scroll down where the rice is, you have a sushi set. And this is dope because my girlfriend and I, we wanted to do sushi night with another couple, but due to the restrictions and the schedules, it didn't work out, but we're gonna have a little date night and I found this and like this is just perfect. So I'm gonna add this to the basket. It's a bit of a basic set, but I think it should be enough to, to make some basic rolls. So let's give that a try. And it's probably quite big, so it, it might be a challenge for them to get, get it to me. All right, let's check out my cart. All right, it's a decent amount. I'm pretty happy with that. Again, I, it's not a typical grocery run. I'm, I am treating myself a little bit when it comes to the prices. And I also did one recently, so I already have a lot of things, but I'm just giving it a try, testing out different products to see if they all arrive on time. So I'm gonna click check out. Okay, info. Okay, so it looks like there's a one euro 80 delivery uh, charge, which is fine. Again, it's super quick, so why not? And then the tax. Yeah, it looks pretty legit. This is pretty fair. I'm gonna give a Tourio tip and let's go from there. Okay, so call when they're at the door. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna check that. Okay, so call when at the door, um, just to make sure that I hear them because I'm in the living room and sometimes I don't hear the, the bell. All right, so 31 euros. I'm happy with that. All right, so credit card, five. Probably shouldn't read it out loud. All right, so it has been paid and I'm gonna start the timer now. Wow, okay, so the ETA is 729, is currently 718. So in terms of the UX of the app, I'm pretty happy. Um, it was a bit buggy at the beginning when I, when I opened it for the first time, but I also have a few apps running like the GoPro app I have um, the microphone um, recording my voice and yeah, so I, I th this is fine. I'm really curious to, see, to, to know how fast they pack it at the station. So what I read was that they, um, they have a factory. So they open in each city, they have a factory or warehouse where they have all of the stock and within a 10 minute radius by bike is where they station this, this warehouse. And that's how they can promise that they can get these, um, these deliveries uh, on time. And like I said, I live a little bit a ways away from Unterbilk. So um, for them to arrive at, yeah, within 11 minutes, it's totally fine. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see, maybe, maybe, maybe they get here faster, who knows. Oh yeah, okay, so after two minutes, my order has been confirmed. And my order is on its way. ETA 725, so seven minutes. Crazy, and my driver's name is Mauricio. <clears throat> so.
So from the confirmation all the way to the ETA of five minutes, it must be close by because Unterbilk is, I would say it's, yeah, okay, I would say it's like five minutes away, but I'm not sure where the warehouse is, so it must be zooming. Um, I'm not sure how the traffic is, but I hope he doesn't hurt himself on his way here. So it seems like the app um, updates his location pretty pretty quickly. He is at a pretty busy street, so depending on the lights, he might get here a bit later, but it's all, it's all good. All right, so he's on my street. It takes like two seconds to, to bike down there, so should be hearing a doorbell pretty soon. Okay, looks like he's here. He might call. Oh wow. Six minutes forty-seven seconds. Crazy. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? For, for that time. No worries, no worries. You Thank you so much. That was go. crazy fast. <laughs> I don't know you. how you guys do it. <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Bye bye. Coriander, check. Basil, check. Lemons, check. The protein pudding that I randomly just selected, check. Two sweet potatoes, so I paid I think two euro 40 for this, so this is pretty good. Decent size. Got the vegan schnitzel or soy flakes. Again, game changer. Eggs, oh my goodness. And they're all un- Oh, actually, you know what? There's a bit of a crack. I'm gonna knock off a point there, but you know what? We're getting them here that quick. I'll give them a break again. And last but not least, the sushi kit. Look at that. This is wild. I'm so impressed. I'm so pumped to use this. It comes with Rice, of course. Vinegar, which you gotta mix with the rice, I think. Some pickled ginger. The sushi rolling mat thing. Chopsticks. And the paper and the instructions. Amazing! This is so dope. I don't know how they did this. Oh, what is this? No way. On the house, they gave this um, Kinder Riegel, so this Kinder chocolate bar. On the house. Oh my goodness. And a handwritten thank you card. Gorilla's app. Danke euch. Danke dir. Um, Mars, what's his name? Marseus or whatever it was. <laughs> thank you so much for delivering at record speed. Um, that was what, six minutes and 47 seconds. And I'm not even in the same district that they are based. I'm going to give it an arbitrary 10 out of 10. Apart from the crack, everything was perfect. Everything was delivered and handled correctly. And these little touches like the chocolate bar, the handwritten note, just mwah. I'm looking forward to give these guys another go. I'm gonna check out the Flink app at some point, hopefully, and compare to see which one's better. And with that, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Peace.